All right, so people often like to imagine apocalyptic scenarios for whatever reason, where, of course, they're the main character. You know, some kind of SHTF scenario, be it societal collapse, zombies, World War III, whatever. Um, with the way the world is going, um, is that less likely? Uh, I'll leave that up to you. Anyway, so one of the things you need in that situation is protection, right? So things that are readily available, ideally. Well, how about this? A cutting mat. You'd think it is cut resistant, so maybe it would be useful as armor. So the setup that I've got here is a standard cutting mat. And in there we got some foam to simulate fleshy bits and a water bottle inside for our, you know, organs or whatever. It's, it's obviously not anatomical particularly, but I wanted something that is curved, that doesn't lie completely flat. I didn't really find trees that were just the right distance apart and the right diameter. So this is flatter than I would like. You know, the body is a little bit more curved than that, but there is some curvature. It'll do. So let's see what happens. The first thing I want to try is cool, but unlikely to make it. A chakram. Didn't make it very far, I mean, yeah. I can barely even get a nail in there, this is superficial. I'm gonna try again. Yes, I know the historical method is spinning it around your finger and releasing. That way I still have my doubts about the effectiveness, but I don't know how to do that properly anyway, so I'm just gonna do it the regular way. Basically did not hit padding. That went straight on the hard bits. It works better when it's warm because it gets a little brittle when it's cold. It's bad for long-term durability, but if the material breaks, that actually means it absorbs more of the force, which helps keep you safe. It's just the same way that uh, ceramic armor works. You know, it absorbs the impact of a bullet and it shatters, but um, you're fine. Okay, how about a combat knife? With the way the camera is set up, I kind of need to do it left-handed, don't I? So you actually see it. I know something you don't know. I am not left-handed. Oh. That's way worse than I expected. I had fairly high hopes because this uh, seems quite resistant, but cutting on a flat surface, not getting stabbed. Well, at least it's hard to get out. <laughs> there. Yeah, a uh, small consolation if you just got shanked. Another classic apocalypse weapon, machete. Problem is, if I hit it like this, it's gonna go in point first and it's probably gonna wreck it. So I think I'm gonna slash it this way, suboptimally, just to see if it, if it has a chance. Yep, it does. Should have started with that. At this angle, the point will dig in, see what it does. Yep. Yeah, so there is a cut. It did go all the way through. This makes me think that uh, lamella or scale armor might work with material like this, where you have a bunch of uh, smaller overlapping segments because that way, even if individual ones crack, you can replace them. And of course, the overlap also helps. In fact, uh, maybe even a brigandine setup would help where the material is sandwiched between layers of fabric, or I'm thinking rubber might be better because the rubber would take some of the bite out of it and cushion it a little bit so it doesn't fracture like this. And I said, on a warmer day, this should do quite a bit better because it should be more pliable, whereas now it's brittle. So it's a bit disappointing when a test doesn't work the way I expect, but at the same time, it still tells you something. You know, don't run around with a cutting mat strapped to yourself. It may not be as safe as you might think. Maybe it would help if you run into a mall ninja. <sighs> yeah, um... It just shatters and collapses. What do we have here? Fun, happy times, I'm sure. A fragment stuck in the foam even. That's fun. 
Yeah, those fragments are kind of sharp too. That would dig into your flesh. Oh, that got really brittle. At room temperature, this was a lot more pliable. That went all the way. <laughs> in the desert or in the jungle probably in particular, you know, hot and moist, that might go a lot better. I might as well just wreck it, right? So at this point, it's just screw it. That'll do, I believe. As solid as it seems when it's on the table and you're working with various cutting implements, it does not handle impact very well. I said it might work as some kind of composite combined with rubber, perhaps. Maybe. But it might just chatter either way. Oh well. Why am I dropping it? I gotta clean it up anyway. I hope it was interesting, even though it wasn't as spectacular as I expected. Thanks for watching.